Graz is definitely one of the nicer cities. Heading out to find uh, coffee and a pastry. Something uh, I haven't had any dessert or pastry so far, so maybe it's time for a treat. So there's a cafe across the street, but I think Google is sending me down this way. <laughs> Let's see what we find. Hmm. I think it's here. Let's see if it's open. There you go. Apple strudel. And the hot chocolate. A little bar. It's a fairly unassuming street. So the uh, coffee or not coffee, hot chocolate and apple strudel get a 770 euro, which <clears throat> is like eleven dollars Canadian. Eesh. Notice the uh, all the bikes. The little kids in the cart in front. Very much like the Netherlands. <laughs> okay, I kind of stumbled onto this uh, this building, which I think is part of the Graz Castle. From what I'm seeing. Uh, appears to be, it looks like it started, construction that started in the 1400s, but there's a double spiral staircase that was noted right here. This is a pretty cool staircase. And a really cool random train. Although if I was a real tourist, I probably would have known it existed. Nice wooden door. Not sure what 
that means. But there's also uh, 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 that looks Hebrew, perhaps. Uh, 1387 is what it says. Rab Rabbi Nissim. Something about Rabbi Nissim. Here's details of that spiral staircase. Okay, so that spire staircase was erected in 1499 by an unknown master builder during the reign of Emperor Maximilian, the last night. Huh. Very cool. And there's also here it's kind of neat mural thing, but you're not going to see it in this. You're going to just take a picture. So right in the center of the screen in the distance is I believe a fortress up on the hill or castle. Can't remember. I was there in the early 2000s. Uh, won't have time to get up there and visit it and rediscover it on this trip, but I think I'll be back in Graz and we'll show you on, on one of those future trips. This is uh, very close to the palace, whatever that structure was. Uh, the Graz Palace, which is behind this wall. So I think I'm going to head to dinner, an Austrian dinner. I uh, don't know how authentic it is because it's probably touristy. So this um, painting is the so-called Plague of God picture. <laughs> to commemorate the year 1480. Uh, in which the city was ridden, I guess overridden by Turkish aggression, the plague, and locusts. Sounds like a party. Speaking of which, uh, what I showed you inside that mausoleum. They're doing a sound check for a concert. It looks like they're gonna have, I guess, some beer outside and then uh, some sort of concert inside later tonight. I'm in search of Austrian food. There it is. So the restaurant I went to is right over there, right in the center of the screen. Bill came to uh, just over 18 euros, and there was a, a pretzel on the table, which, like, a rack of pretzels, which I thought was like pre-bread <laughs> and that costs a dollar eighty or a when when you're eighty and I'm gonna explore a bit more before packing up for tomorrow
uh, with respect to that meal, it was it was good. For 18 euros, I don't know. I think it's probably overpriced. I find it super busy by uh, this intersection because there's lots of trains and, or sorry, trams and buses 